Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss why we need a, a date dimension in Power BI file. So let's start. I've got this Power BI file here with me and it's got just two tables. So it's got the DIM product table and it's got the internet sales table. And uh, I'll just show you the data model here quickly. So it's DIM product related to the fact internet sales table on the basis of the product key. And it's a one to many relationship. So uh, let's go back in this one. Why do we need a date dimension? So um, let's say I want to see how uh, the sales have happened by color. And uh, what are the sales amount that were sold? And uh, so let me just maximize this. And what I want to do is I want to do an analysis by order date. And I'll select that. And you can see that it's created a hierarchy where it gives me on this uh, day of the year, on this month, this quarter, this year, sales amount was this much. Now let's say that we don't want to follow the calendar hierarchy. What do we need to do? We might need to build some custom logic where we've got a different quarter, different month and different year. So it would be like maybe a fiscal year, fiscal quarter, fiscal month and so on. So it's pretty hard uh, if we start using this hierarchy. So that is one. Second is Power BI is building a date dimension uh, for every key in the fact table and that can become really performance uh, deteriorating if you've got a lot of uh, date columns any case and the third one is so let's let's just uh, with this let's just stay with this one and i'll just go and convert this to uh i'll convert order date to the date and we don't want the date hierarchy for now but let's say i want to uh do an analysis by on what day of the month or uh, sorry one what day of the week maybe it's monday or a tuesday what colors are selling and what was the amount that was made how do i do that that also is not available so what I've done is I've gone here and I've created a measure called weekday and all it does is it's formatting the order date and getting the day from there. So let me remove order date and I'll pull in the weekday there. And you can see now that it is showing us uh, the color by the weekday. Now, uh, so this is the order weekday. So maybe I can call this order weekday. order date weekday. Now, uh, let's say we want to do the similar analysis on um, ship date and similar analysis on uh, due date. So we end up having to go and create a separate column for each of them. So what happens if we want to have a look at the fiscal hierarchy, we add columns for those and you can all of a sudden see that it is going to start going out of control. Now, if you've got a dimension table the fact table is the table with the maximum number of rows so if you start adding this it will immediately start to increase the size of your data model if it is a column or it will add calculation logic if it is a measure so either ways it's it's going to uh, create problems so a way to handle it is to create a date dimension so uh, now uh, you could um, join the date dimension to the sales table on one so let's say you can uh, do it on the order date key and make that as the active relationship and make the relationship with the due date and the ship date as inactive and then you can uh, use dax to build uh, or get the right amounts or you could have a role playing dimension so you could have three date tables so essentially it's just one table but you create three uh, copies of it and link it to the three separate columns depending on how how you want to deal with it but uh, you can see that if you don't have a date dimension, it le uh, leads to a lot of unnecessary DAX code being written. Uh, it can also start going out of control with too many uh, keys in your uh, fact table that can also impact the performance and size of the data model. So uh, so if, if I were to sort of slightly just uh, linger on with this one, let's say your fact table has got 2 million rows. So you, uh, if you add one more column, it has, so you're essentially adding that a column uh, for those 2 million rows. So if you have 10 new columns, essentially you can see, you can do the math here, how many, how many values do you have? But if you have a date, so for example, you've got a dim, date dimension from 1st of January, 2000 to 2020, one year has got 365 days. So maybe in 20, 
for 20 years, it'll probably be um, maybe 6,000 or 7,000 rows. Uh, so that's not much, uh, slightly over 7,000. So it, it, your, your data model will not increase exponentially. Any changes that you want, you can only make it at one place rather than replicating it for multiple dimensions. So there are a couple of reasons I've mentioned. Uh, so size of the data model, the data model performance, and uh, too much DAX code and then code maintenance. So these are the three uh, reasons that you want to build your own uh, data dimension rather than uh, not having a data dimension in your data model. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic. Please do leave comments if you need uh, more uh, information on this topic. Cheers. Bye.